Guys, you know, get ready to drop the green flag on this race. The drivers always are talking about how bumpy this racetrack is. This is the first time they're going to pile into turn one side by side. In practice, if you wanted to run around those bumps, you just ran around them. But with the car on the outside of you, these guys on the inside, they can't run around that bump. I'm interested to see how they navigate lap one. They haven't done it yet. Learn it on the fly. 38 cars will be piling into turn one up through the gears and all with the idea of getting past anybody in front of them. So on restarts, it's going to be very important. Uh, that will be the best time for guys to take advantage of the fresh tires. The fans on their feet here, ready for the start of the round of eight from Las Vegas. Great flags in the air. Pretty even on this restart, everybody side by side. A little bit of momentum off the top here. Chris Bell thinking about making it three wide on Joey Logano. Three wide in the corner. Bubba Wallace in that 45. Shoots through the middle there. Almost a little contact between Blaney and Byron as they came out of four. Reddick on the bottom, Cindric in the preferred line up high. Cindric will pull down this straightaway. Eight side drafts a little bit, brings him back even in the three. Cindric right on the door. Now he's got an advantage with that outside groove down the front straightaway. All this is bringing Byron right into the fight. Where does Byron go? You see him bottom out through the buffs there. That outside line surging ahead now for, Tyler, or for Austin Cindric as Reddick now to the bottom getting a little bit of an advantage. Can he clear Cindric? He does. He finally makes that move and let's see what he does down here in turn one and two. Rick, does he run the middle of the racetrack and take that line away from the two car? Has he been comfortable on the bottom? Does he stay there? Takes that line away from the two, the two slides up the racetrack. Doesn't get a great corner exit in the dirty air. And now Tyler Reddick with a five car length advantage on lap four here at Vegas. This was coming out of turn four. Look at the closeness right there. Maybe even a little contact between Byron and Blaney. I think there was just a little bit of contact. You see right here, Austin Dillon trying to get by that 21 of Harrison Burton. You see how difficult it is on the bottom. Kyle Larson looking for some clean air. Going to make it three wide in the middle. Oh, that was a good idea. Now five slides up the racetrack on corner exit. Loses a lot of momentum down the straightaway here. Dillon takes to the apron, trying to shorten the track. Uh, we talked a lot about the pace. This track is so fast. Well, so far in this race, they have run laps faster than what the pole speed was in March. This weekend, the track has been unreal with speed. With more speed comes more tire load in those tires. Issues we saw at Texas, concerned about speeds, loads, air pressures. Has to be on the minds of all the crew chiefs out there today. Listen in to the 12 and what Blaney say. I got a vibration in the front already. I don't know why. Man, a vibration in the front. So we've heard a lot about loose wheels, but we haven't even had a pit stop. So you would assume that this is something other than a wheel. We're just going to have to continue to monitor it, Junior, and see what it could be at this point. The car did not fire off good at all the first couple laps. He is fighting back now. It seems like things may have gotten better or he's understood how to drive the car with the issue. He's back to the back bumper of Byron for third place. Right, Dale, and I actually think it could be just a handling condition because he came on the radio after that and said it was chattering and just tight through the center of the corner, so could potentially just be a little tighter than what he had in practice. I tell you what, though, I, I chatter in a tire, running this speed, just that, you know, to me, I don't know how you run this fast and chatter the tire. When we talk about chatter the tire, sometimes the car doesn't drive very good, and the tire actually 
feels like it's bouncing across the racetrack and you feel that in the steering wheel. With that issue they had in practice, Ryan Blaney's nerves are pretty high at the moment having a vibration this early. Yeah, they had a right rear tire go down and it was right at the end of practice, but he didn't. He was actually slowing down at the time, so timing was perfect. Uh, but when they got in, it had blown out the right rear tire. So that was an issue in practice that they had to take a look at. On the left side of your screen, you see the rundown currently. All of the playoff drivers have a yellow line underneath their name. That's playoff drivers. Well, you see kind of, kind of spread through the field. we got Byron Blaney, Logano, Bell on the left side, Elliott, Chastain back in 15th and 16th. And then a couple even farther back, Chase Briscoe back in 24th. He has lost eight positions since the start of the race. Right behind him, going the other way, Denny Hamlin, plus five, kind of meeting in the middle, 10 laps into the run. Dave, how about Denny Hamlin in the run? He's got to make it. Of course, it's the right direction. As you mentioned, start at 31st, up to 25th. Just keep the radio said it was a little bit edgy, especially on the top side, but that's okay. He's making progress going forward. Marty. Chase Briscoe, as the guys mentioned, going backwards, Dave, saying the car just is way too tight, especially down the other end of the racetrack from here, turns three and four. So, Steve, the magic number for tires as we continue to monitor the vibration for Ryan Blaney seems to be about lap 30. And teams will admit, that, Steve, they're pushing the air pressure, lowering them as far as they can go to get more speed out of the car. So when you lower the air pressure, Steve, how does that help the speed in the race car? Yeah, so it's a multitude of things. We're going to talk about this tire thing because it will be a story all day but there are settings the teams can do to make it worse or better camber how much they tip the tire in air pressure just how much do you inflate it less air in the tire is a little better for grip but more importantly kind of lowers the back of that car that rear diffuser that you see on the back of the 11 the back of the 14 as it gets lower to the track more problem is you heard it speed bumps everything that can hurt a tire we're going to talk about this all day 30 laps, and well, the 30 laps is the magic number. Congratulations, because to split this first run, you're going to have to run 40. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of teams and drivers holding their breath here as we get close to that lap 30 mark mark. Well, Steve, they continue on that story for the 12 of Ryan Blaney. You guys mentioned he had that right rear tire issue at the end of practice yesterday. So the team told me they made a bunch of adjustments to help that out and be more conservative. And all his feedback has been that he's very tight. He said, I'm nowhere near the front turn in the car that I had yesterday. So as a crew chief, you know the issues you're having. You have a right rear tire issue. You make the changes. And now maybe you've overstepped your bounds. How do you dial that back out? How do you know how far to go? Well, I would go too far to start, Parker, to your point. You know, if I think three or four pounds of air pressure is necessary i go five or six to start the race and kind of creep back up on it and this conversation guys is bigger than just playoff drivers and points this is a big circumstance remember alex bowman was one of those drivers that had a right here to go down at texas he has yet to return from concussion like I'm symptoms I'm so I'm this is nerve-wracking for me as a crew chief because i'm so focused on the playoffs and points but that's one of my best buddies in there behind the wheel and i want to make sure i give him the best chance to showcase his talent but it can be nerve-wracking at times when you just know that this potential issue is looming. Right on the razor's edge as the boys are back in Las Vegas. Tyler Reddick back out front. Cedric running second. And Byron 